and I start off with this piece of meat. It is a beautiful three bones marbling score nine wagyu short rib. As I take a slice, take a look. Man, this is marbling at its finest. Now in order for us to cook this birria style, the first thing we need to do is to put a nice beautiful sear. Now since I have three of them, I'm going to show you two different versions. The first one is to use charcoal. First we got to lit up all of our charcoals and get it real hot. Remember this thing is extremely fatty, so you can expect big flare ups. I mean take a look at this, it's almost like you got to call the fire department. And if you're not careful, you're going to burn it. We're actually trying to caramelize everything as best as possible without getting it too dark. Now on the other hand, we have the flamethrower itself. And this one is basically just like painting with fire. You go at your own speed, there is zero flare ups, and you can control the exact amount of brownness you want. I mean in the end, I have these results, take a look. The darker ones were done with charcoal, and the nicely golden brown was with the flamethrower. Now remember, it is not cooked, it's fully raw inside. And to cook it, we're going to use it sous vide. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and throw it in the bag and add the birria marinade right on top. This is where the magic comes from. And to make this, it is super easy and here's how. I first starting by adding a few chilies to the boiling water. Once they're fully hydrated, I remove them and reserve the water. Now into a blender, I threw in all of the chilies, followed by tomatoes, garlic, white onions, lime juice, cinnamon, salt, black pepper, brown sugar, and a little bit of that water from the chilies. Now blend it on high because that's it. This is the birria marinade and it is fantastic. The only thing left to do now, as you know, is to add it to the bag together with the short rib, vacuum seal it and it is now ready to be cooked sous vide. Talking about that, I'll be doing so at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Once the time is up, I took it out, opened up the bag and he immediately retracted all of the juices. Now I'm going to be using this tool right here to speed up the process. It's called a fat separator. Since there's an opening on the bottom, it allows me to release all of the juices and the fat stays back inside. Now this is our birria consomme and we're going to be using this to dunk our burgers into it. The only thing you really have to do is to add a little bit of white onions followed by some cilantro, because this is amazing. Don't believe me? Well, you just wait and you'll see. Now you're probably thinking, what about the fat? That is not going to go to any waste, because we need to let it cool down and completely solidify. Once that happens, take a look. This is what I like to call birria butter. We're going to be using this for two things. First to make a sauce, and we're also going to be buttering up our hamburger buns. But first, we got to take care of the meat. So I quickly remove them all from the bag, and take a look. The bone comes out like nothing. To shred it, you basically don't need anything. Since it's a Wagyu short rib, it has an extremely amount of fat on it. Because in the end, this is what I was left with. Perfectly made short rib, which is going to go incredible inside of our burger. Talking about that, every single burger needs a good sauce. And this one is just on another level. Let me show you how it was made. First, I added some raw garlic into a bowl and using that fat from the birria, immediately put it right on top. You see, we're trying to do something that it's called confit garlic. Once I filled it up all the way to the top, into the oven it went at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. You want to leave it there so it cooks nice and easy. Because once the time was up, I took it out and look. Confit garlic. I mean, come on now, you know this is going to be amazing. And if you think we're going to let this fat go to waste, oh no. It's perfect to go on bread and many other things. Now to make the sauce, I grabbed my food processor and started with a good amount of mayo. Followed by the confit garlic we just made, a little bit of gochujang paste, followed by maple syrup. Now blend everything on high because your sauce is done. Now take a look at this. I know it looks good, but it tastes 10 times better than it looks. However, because of the sweetness of the maple syrup, it is not spicy. And every good burger needs a good amount of spice. So pickled jalapenos is the way to go. I first started by slicing them all up, then into a mason jar they go. Now I need to make the pickling mixture. For that, all you gotta use is some boiling water together with white sugar and red vinegar. Exact amounts will always be on the description down below for you. Because once you bring everything to a boil, pour it right into the jalapeno. Now let them sit because that's it and they're going to be awesome to go along with the burgers. Now in regards to cheese, I am not using American cheese today. I'll be using this, extremely soft fresh mozzarella. I just tear them apart so that they can easily be melted on top of the burger. Talking about that, the only thing left is this, the burger patties. I'll be using a mixture of 80% beef and 20% fat. And just like my steaks, I like to season them well. For that, I only use salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. I'll be honest with you.
with you. Birria is one of my favorite things to eat and just the fact of making a birria burger is just basically making my mouth water, everybody. <laughs> we got almost everything ready except the burger. Now here's the deal with this burger. Let me tell you something. Instead of basting it with butter, thyme and garlic, I'm actually gonna be using the fat from the birria in order to do so. And it is gonna be next level. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Once that's done, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and assemble. And I know what you're thinking. I know my ingredients don't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright everybody, here we have our beautiful burgers. What do you guys think? Guga, I Damn. am I am smiling <laughs> ear to ear right now because I am so excited for this burger. I'm super hungry it's... and this thing looks amazing. I gotta say, it's the most photogenic burger I've ever made. I don't oh, even yeah. want I don't even <laughs> want to eat it. With that. I really don't want to eat it. So here's the deal: it's a video burger. So this little sauce is called the consume, so you're supposed to dip it, alright? But this burger is so off the chain that I wanna before we dip it, we just try it. And hold on one second. I have given you guys. This will be necessary. <laughs> this means we're about to get real messy, everybody. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing better than a messy burger. You know what? Let me take my watch off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're gonna eat with your wrist, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you guys ready? I'm All right. ready. Let's, let's grab it. Let's try this thing. Oh, man. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Lord have mercy. Wow. That's oh, a wow. good mother burger right there. I'm having an out of body experience right now. This is It's so delicious, man. This is a rich burger. This bun is so soft. You bite into it and you just get all that creaminess of the cheese. And I will say, this thing got kicked. I bit straight into a jalapeno. That thing is spicy. <laughs> this is this you got thing. Jalapeno, is, yeah. This thing is kicked. I'm so ready to try it with the dip. Oh. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm like just thinking about it. I gotta say, everybody, this one is a little bit over 10 out of 10 we'll recommend. Yeah. Alright? <laughs> 10 out of 10 is just not enough. We need a scale. <laughs> the wonderful thing about is that the short rib is such a good combination with the burger. The burger is kind of solid and the short rib is kind of extremely soft. Yep. So when you take a bite, it's just a winner, winner, chicken dinner, everybody. You're biting through several different textures of the bread, the shredded meat, and the actual patty. Okay, are you ready for the dip? Because it's video, we have to dip it. You ready for it? When I think of burgers, this doesn't come to mind, but this is a damn good burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dip it, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna agree with oh, you. Let's oh, go on the dip. Oh, man. All right, this oh. is, now nah, this is what we're getting. Oh, Guys, my I'm, God. I'm, I'm, are you serious? <laughs> I'm <laughs> dipping a stupid amount right now. There's no way that this is not gonna be amazing, everybody. I went, I went light on it. I didn't go no. too crazy. No, I went insane. Right. Oh, you guys went full. Oh. Let's see. You guys ready? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. That's crazy. Heaven, I'm coming! <laughs> wow. Just incredible. It's phenomenal. I, I thought there was just a, such a, a, a crazy amount of different textures before. You add that sauce and it's a whole nother layer. A deep richness of flavor that that sauce gives and texturally just all of that stuff and it's just covered in a nice glaze. But I'm gonna say this has to be my favorite burger you've ever made. This is definitely the most unique burger I've ever had. It is a burger made with a lot of love because you have to spend a little bit of time but putting these ingredients and these combinations together. It's just amazing, everybody. It's just one of the best burgers I've ever made. Guys, this is a food lover's experience, man. Rich, savory, beefy, cheesy, creamy, spicy. It's all here. It's, yeah. it's honestly like, you guys gotta make this, you're gonna love it. Can we agree that it tastes amazing without dipping, but when you dip, it's just a whole different level. It takes it to a whole, exactly, that's exactly what I was gonna say, it takes a whole, whole nother level. It gives it extra richness, extra little flavors here and there, and then also that moisture that like, it helps you chew it and all that, you know? Dip your burger, everybody, you will be better. Anyway guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if we are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.